Hello, in this video, I'm gonna explain why a man's weight changes during a Ferris wheel ride. The man's true weight, of course, doesn't change. So what changes must be the normal contact force between the man and the floor. When a man is at the bottom of the ride, the centripetal direction is upward, which means the net force must be upward. So the normal contact force has got to be larger than the weight. So we can write the upward normal contact force minus away the downward weight being equals to the net force which is the centripetal force which is mr omega square. So we can actually see quite clearly that the normal contact force is larger than the weight by this amount which is the required centripetal force. When a man is at the top of the right then the centripetal direction is downward which means the net force must be downward which means the normal contact force must be smaller than the downward weight. So we can write the downward weight minus away the upward normal contact force is equal to the required centripetal force. So we can see quite clearly when a guy is at the top of the right, the normal contact force is smaller than mg by the amount equal to the required centripetal force. When the man is at the 3 o'clock position, the centripetal direction is leftward, which means vertically net force should be zero. So we can write normal contact force to be exactly equals to the weight. So what is providing the required centripetal force? It has got to be friction of course. And the same thing is happening at the 9 o'clock position. So the normal contact force is exactly equals to the weight and the frictional force provides the required centripetal force. So the normal contact force is not constant during the ride. It is maximum at the bottom position and minimum at the top position. In fact, at the bottom it is uh, larger than weight, at the top it is smaller than the weight, and it is exactly equal to the weight only at the 3 o'clock and the 9 o'clock positions. And because of this, this man is going to feel lighter and lighter on the way up and heavier and heavier on the way down. In fact, the man should feel his normal weight only at the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. Usually, a ferris wheel uh, rotates at a fairly slow rate, so the term mr omega square is quite small, so um, the normal contact force really doesn't differ much from mg, and so this man doesn't really feel the effect. But let's imagine a ferris wheel that has gone berserk, huh? so it's going at a very fast speed. As the ferris wheel spins faster and faster, the required centripetal force mr omega square will become larger and larger. So at the bottom position, the normal contact force will become larger and larger. At the top position, the normal contact force will become smaller and smaller. And at the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions, the frictional force will become larger and larger. Let's talk about a case when omega is so large that mr omega square is exactly equals to mg, which means that at the top position, the normal contact force will have dropped to zero, which means this man here, he's going to experience weightlessness when he's at the top position here. He'll be like kind of hovering in the capsule. At the three and nine o'clock positions, the frictional force is probably insufficient to provide that big uh, required centripetal force. So the ferris wheel is doing uh, the turn very sharply, but the man is unable to keep up with this circular motion. So relative to the capsule, the man is going to slide outward uh, until he presses into the wall of the capsule and the normal contact force will chip in to keep this guy in circular motion. At the bottom position, the normal contact force will be 2 mg which means this guy is feeling twice his normal weight. If the man tries to do a push-up at the bottom position, he'll find that it is uh, next to impossible because he has to exert a force of 2 mg on the floor just to keep himself in circular motion. So he has to press harder than 2 mg to push himself off the floor. I guess most people's muscles are not able to exert a force of twice their weight, so I guess this guy is going to be pressed onto the floor. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!